This is the Transformers Generations War for Cybertron trilogy from Earthrise, the deluxe class Quintesson Decius Army Drone. Netflix version. This is, I believe, a Walmart exclusive. I picked up this figure from Our Toys. Packaging is so thin. The paper is so flimsy. It, it's it feels like an insert. The it's not even a cardboard box. Like the material they use for the insert. And what's weird is the insert is actually made of much thicker cardboard. So, whatever. Let's get him out of packaging. And here is the Decius Army drone out of packaging and. This figure is actually not so bad. It's actually brilliant. I absolutely love it. If there's one thing I like uh, about getting new figures is I love the fact when I'm always proven wrong. When I prejudge the figure too soon and I think it's gonna be, it's not gonna be that great. And then I open it and it turns out to be great. That kind of surprise actually always does it for me. I like this figure. I don't know why. I When I bought it, I was like, I'm gonna do a review, say my grade, say my piece about it, and get rid of this figure as fast as I can. But the moment I opened it, I was like, oh my goodness. Hasbro did a wonderful job with this figure. I mean, they were looking to repaint the mold into black, gray, and silver. They couldn't have found a better excuse with the Decius Army drone. I mean, look at this figure. I love the color that they use. It's a glossy, deep black type of plastic. It doesn't feel cheap. The gray bits are great. It's not the cheap type of gray plastic. Even the gun is great. This head sculpt, look at this. You can clearly see some nice details, great black plastic. I love the silver on the face and those dead teal, uh, teal blue green eyes. Oh my goodness, I love it. I love the purple windshield. The entire aesthetic in robot mode at least is just absolutely gorgeous. I I am actually speechless. I I don't know what to say. Uh I'm glad to be proven wrong. This is a great repaint of an already amazing figure. Now, if you didn't already know, this figure is a direct repaint of the Siege Ironhide figure. I mean, this figure was great in its own right, but to be done in black and gray and bits of silver, oh my goodness, look at that. He even has, what is this? The emblem or the faction symbol of, I guess that's a Quintesson? Yeah, that's, that's what I'm guessing because that's what, what's on the box. Yeah, definitely. I mean, to even put that on his chest, very small detail. Look at the gun. Look how nicely it's been painted. It's it's done in this gray plastic, painted in silver, and then airbrushed, I think, in matte black. And they painted the missiles in this really seafoam green. I mean, compared to this, this one was actually pretty good. Uh, I, I do like how they treated the gun of Siege Ironhide, but look at this. It really feels like a barrage of missiles coming at you. This one feels like laser cannon. Like this one is like so. Wow, super loving this figure. In terms of mold degradation, sadly there is a little. Uh, the hinges on the shoulders, they're a little loose. At least on my copy of the figure. Hinges on the other uh, bits of articulation seem to be pretty tight. Waist seems to be okay. Hips, knees, and feet. Feel a little bit loose on mine. That's because they, they popped off when I removed uh, the figure from packaging. So transform him. Just very quickly since you guys already know how this guy transforms because of Siege Ironhide. But we'll, we'll just go through the, the motion very quickly. And the, this whole chest area, it's still very tight. I was expecting this to be loose uh, because this is like, what, the third version of this mold? Third or fourth version of this mold? Fourth, I think, because we, we, we got the uh, crosshairs version. Two years, three years, uh, two and a half years I've forgotten how to transform this fella. Okay. 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 I missed that tab. Okay. 
And there you have it. There is the DC's Army drone in his alt mode, which is exactly the same as Ironhide and Ratchet. And there's Siege, the Siege Ironhide and Ratchet. Although I think, you know, in this mode, I, I thought the windshield should have been done this way. I thought it would be more like space, space type of vehicle looking. Look at that. Look at that front grille, those headlights. It looks like a Mars rover, a moon rover. Going over the canyons, the rocky canyons of an asteroid or the moon. And for this version of the mold, the silver feet actually do fit with the whole aesthetic of the alt mode. I mean, in, in Ironhide, Ironhide and Ratchet, the feet was just really sticking out in an awkward way. But with this version, I'm, I'm totally okay with this feet being a different color uh, than the leg. So very good. And so some final thoughts on the Decius Army drone. I think it's a great figure. It's a wonderful repaint of the Siege Ironhide and Ratchet figure molds. If you're a big fan of those figures, you are going to love this figure. Could you improve anything? Very minimal, now maybe tighter joints. And if they actually did away with all the Siege um, battle damage design, if they made this purely black, silver, and gray, this would have been a 10 out of 10 figure for me. It would be a, an incredible excuse, an amazing excuse for a Siege Ironhide stealth mode version, or I don't know, a Nemesis Ironhide or something like that. Um, but as it is, it is a very solid repaint. I am going to give this figure a nine out of 10. Uh, give this figure a second look. I know a lot of collectors are just paying attention. They're just trying to, get the Cheetor, Netflix Cheetor uh, figure in this way, maybe deep cover, and they're ignoring uh, the Sparkless, oh, ignore that figure, definitely the Sparkless robot. But this one, a lot of collectors are ignoring this. Take a second look at this figure because I was actually surprised at how well it turned out. Let me know in the comment section what you think of the DC's Army drone. Hit me up in the comments and as always, hit that notification bell so you never miss out on any of my latest video reviews. If it's your first time here, please subscribe. If you want to help the channel out, please check out my Patreon account. There's a link in the description box below. Thanks for watching.